Another thing that I want to talk about was I saw, um, I was reminded of um, my whale dog dream when I saw a video that was done back in um, December of last year by this little boy about falcons, and it'll make sense pretty soon. I'll just play a very quick snippet. And I have a vision to uh, share with you that I got yesterday. Um, I saw a golden falcon um, flying above the clouds, um, almost in space, but uh, not quite there. And it was letting out piercing cries that um, were like, they were just so, you know, high pitched that probably the whole earth could hear it. And um, I got the interpretation from Adnai that it meant um, that he, it was a warning telling everybody that he's coming uh, very soon. And the scripture I have. So um, that was interesting. And because um, I had seen this and then maybe like one or two days later, I noticed this card that I got. Um, we get like little um, business cards dropped in the litter box. And there's always lots of them from like taxi drivers or, you know, for all these companies. And so I'm kind of aware of the major ones that they always put through. But I noticed this one, it's called Falcon Cars. So I've never seen this one before. I've seen a lot of the same ones that keep bringing, you know, advertising over and over. But this is the first time I've noticed Falcon Cars, the last. One, two, three, four, five numbers of the, the phone number is seven nine five 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 five. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. That's a confirmation to me. Falcon cars, right after I see this dream of this little boy with the falcon. So the reason why falcons are important and why they remind me of my whale dog is explained um, through this with Dale's on the Maseroth. It's a quick clip. They were actually, the, the great hunters of that time were falconeers. And uh, these uh, two portrayals of the dogs, they actually should be hawks or falcons that are hunting with, the, with Orion. They are his companions. He had two hawks that was hunting with him rather than two dogs hunting rabbits. These are two hawks hunting serpents. And this makes the whole message of Gemini come into focus because both Canis Major, which has the star Cyrus in it, and Canis Minor, which has the star uh, uh, Procyon in it, both show a vindication and an attack of evil uh, against the enemy. So okay, so... so it brought me back to my dream of the whale dog, and I think the dog is represents one of those two constellations. I talked about it here. Um, and I talked about how um, I was focusing on the mouth of the dog. And it corresponds to around the time of 3.30. So I started thinking, okay, you know, where are we? Uh, at this point, I thought maybe we already passed um, the dog. But if I, I took a look, at Stellarium and here is Sirius and the nice thing about it is it gives you the um, information uh, it might get cut off here but the ecliptic where it is basically on the ecliptic as of today is um, at 104 19 okay degrees so that's this line right here that we're about to hit, it's 105. So it's right before 105 at 104.19. And I looked, okay, so where is the sun today? Well, the sun is at 103.54. So it hasn't hit the alignment with the star yet. It's about to. So I was like, oh, cool. When is it going to do that? And um, I go went up by one day and it actually crosses there it already went over to a hundred and four fifty one so um, 
if you actually, this kind of gets all messed up. If you go to third, I can't type it in because I already found out. Okay. No, not good. Sorry, the software for some reason likes to rotate around. So at about 1.30, yeah, 1.36 um, Jerusalem time, it hits 104.19. So that's when it starts becoming aligned with um, Canis Major, the, the, the first big major star in Canis Major. Um, so that's interesting. But again, you know, it could be this one or it could be this one. I'm not sure which dog. There's two of them. So it could, you know, be a little bit more until it hits Canis Minor. But hey, I'm always on the lookout for the closest thing. Um, so that was interesting. And then I remind, it rem I went back to, oh, 3.30. Have we hit 3.30 yet? So I put it on this clock, and um, I t I'm taking again the um, the solar Enoch type of calendar, and I've just started from the summer solstice, and then the next day as the first day of the fourth month. And doing that, the first day being June first, I know it's not that day, but you know, I just plugged it in. You know, tomorrow is when we hit the alignment with Sirius, the star of Canis Major, and then also it's the halfway point of um, the fourth month. So that would correspond to, um, you know, 3.30 is where the short line would be here. So that's okay. So tomorrow's, I'm definitely watching out for tomorrow expectation. And then... Um, another thing that I found interesting, um, you know, I kept thinking about 4th of July fireworks because of Diana Oliveri stream that she had put, um, you know, back then. So I was like, oh, it has to be on a Monday. I was expecting this Monday. I'm so sad when it didn't happen. Um, but then I, um, and she was also given three days, day, you know, day after tomorrow. But then, um, so I'll play that. Um, but while I was walking into work, um, just talking in my mind to the Lord, um, I get up to the, almost get up to the door, and I said, um, I said, Lord, you know, just let me know if this is going to be like my last Friday here, you know, because I'm just like three days, you know. Just let me know if this is going to be my last Friday here. And immediately... I heard a song, and it was just two words, but I heard the tune in my head, and it was this, Monday, Monday, da. Okay, so she got Monday, and I was like, well, it does have to happen on a Monday. It doesn't really make sense with, you know, my calendar that I just showed you. But um, I did some more digging around, and I just, just sent her a message about this. I don't know Diana or anything, but I hope she reads my messages. <laughs> um I said, wow, I, didn't, I can't believe I didn't look into the meaning of Monday. Monday comes from Dies Lunae, which is the day of the moon. A lunar day is a period of time for Earth's moon to complete one rotation on its axis with respect to the sun. So it is roughly the period between two new moons. So it's basically the month, right? One month, new moon to another one is almost a month. Your dream about the three days was the night of April 27th. So that was the previous video that I just showed you. She posted it the next day. Um, which started the second Jewish month of ER. So that's April 27th is when she had the, that night. So that was the first day of the second month of ER. Um, sorry, where are you? you see my space here, okay. And they use the new moon to start their month. So I'd say that your that would be your first lunar day. The second lunar day would be the third Jewish month of Sivan. And the third lunar day would be the current fourth month of Tammuz. 
So we're already in that day after tomorrow. We should definitely be out here very soon. Okay. So that was cool. Um, that, you know, hopefully that's what was meant there. I mean, I could be interpreting wrong, but to me, that makes me really excited. And then um, I was also thinking she also got another in this video. This is where she talks about the fireworks that made you know me and other people think, oh, are we being led to the Fourth of July? You know that was exciting. So I'll play just a little bit of that. People were were in their cars, and so there was a bunch of people around, and it was a huge traffic jam. They were trying. They were. They were all jammed up, and it was hard to move around, and, and it was hard to, to maneuver around. And so when I realized that it was people that had come to see the fireworks, and they were lining up on the sides of the road early, and I wondered in my mind why they were there so early. It was only 12.30, and I had a thought that it would be a long wait for 5.30. Now... That was in my dream. So here I am. I'm, I'm trying to make my way into the traffic. And so that was, I said, well, if she got the three days, and those are representing months, could it be that the time within the day that she got could be representing hours? I mean, sorry, days. The hours representing days within the month within the third month. So, I don't know. I always look at possibilities. So, then I took a look at, she got 12. So, the July 3rd, which we were all excited about, was 12. So, that's 12 to 5 is 5 hours. So, that would be first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour. And we land here. So I was like, well, that's cool. That's in two days. And that's also, if you, I started counting backwards, like a little Omer count from the 50, which is the Feast of New Wine on the fifth month. And that all falls on day 33. If you were counting the Omer, that would be day 33. And um, I did some digging about this before. Um, and, you know, the counting of the Omer is... You know, there's all these, it's a semi-morning period, so all restrictions are lifted on this 33rd day, and that's why there could be weddings, parties, listening to music, and all sorts of things are scheduled, and they have bonfires. So I was like, well, that's cool. Um, maybe, you know, that starts the clock here, and maybe something significant could be happening here. Um... So, and then the next day is the 17th after move. That's why they put this little uh, crying man here. Cause, because that's um, the period of three weeks of mourning that happens until the, um, the 9th of Av. The last nine days are like the ultra mourning. Um, so, which is interesting because that happens right after, right around the time of the festival of new wine. So... So I was like, okay, um, that was interesting. And then I happened to find something so cool. Because, you know, in the fifth, the fifth hour would be the fireworks. <laughs> they actually have fireworks on that day, Lag the Omer. Watch this, on the beach. To celebrate the 33rd count of the Omer. I mean, not for the wine, but they do it for the grain. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, okay, so so that's really cool. Um, definitely on high alert. Obviously, you know the whole month up until that. But if we could this be when the bride, the you know wheat harvest barley harvest um that's about being redeemed and then we are starting to work for the wine harvest and the oil harvest so those the at least the portion of the bride that is coming back i don't know i guess we'll find out but just some really cool stuff that i wanted to put out there because it makes me excited and i need some stuff to just kind of keep feeding my excitement on a daily basis so i hope you enjoy bye